today. We're going to uh, look at the church that Jesus is building. And uh, we're going to entitle this, The, the Church is an Organism. Uh, Much of the church as it's expressed today is, is not the church that Jesus desires it to be. We have too often made the church an organization rather than an organism. The word organism means something that's alive and well and functioning properly. A church is, is living, it's the living church of the Lord Jesus Christ. God's best intention for the church was not an organization. An organization tends to structure the church rather than the church being free and alive to be what God wants it to be. Oftentimes when we so organize the church, we stifle the life of the church. A Chinese brother told me not too long ago uh, who had been to America something that was very uh, profound. He was asked the question, uh, what do you think about the church in America? And his answer was, I am so surprised that they can do so much without God. Isn't that sad? What he meant by that was that the American church is organized and it's structured and it can just go right on doing what it's doing whether God's in it or not. The church tends to do what it does because of formality or because of tradition. It does what it does because of uh, past history. Uh, their grandfather did it or someone did it, so that's the way they do it. Rather than basing everything they do upon scripture, they primarily base it upon tradition. Instead of it being a living organism, it is a structured organization. In another study later on uh, in the month, we're going to talk about the church being a relationship, and then we'll get into more details of that. Now when I say that uh, the church is not an organization, I don't mean that the church should not be orderly. 
的时候，呃，我并不不是表示说教会就不要有次序。Because there are certain scripture passages that teach us that everything should be done in in proper order. Because, uh, the Bible tells us in the church that every thing should be done in proper order. But order does not mean organization. But this kind of order does not mean organization. But order does not mean organization. Organization tends to take something that's alive and put it into some kind of a structure. To where you can dictate exactly what happens and when it happens. Uh, this organization form is usually uh, represents we put this uh, every kind of form put it into a fixed structure and structure, and then you just follow the structure and do it. The church, as a living organism, is responsive to its builder, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh. 教会的这个有机体应该是按照主耶稣基督的很有次序的命令来来行事的。So as a as a living organism, when the Holy Spirit speaks or ministers, the living organism responds to it. It doesn't have to go through a lot of machinery and organization. It just immediately responds. 所以这个有机体，这个生有生命的有机体呢，是应该顺着圣灵，顺着按照耶稣基督的教导。来，能够随时变应的，而不是一个，呃，一个死的形式。The life and vitality of Jesus is expressed in the life and the vitality of the organism of the church. 这个很活泼的一个生命之道，应该是按照主耶稣基督的，呃，那那样子有有活泼之道而来的。Uh, for your notes, uh, put down Ephesians two. Twenty through twenty-two. Please, 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 你们也靠他同被建造，成为神借着圣灵居住的所在。So here, the scripture speaks of、uh, a church that is is growing and a church that is alive. 这里讲到教会是要成长的，教会是活的。Paul said that the church is built upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets. 保罗说到。教会是建造在使徒和先知的根基上。Remember, we said in previous studies that the first gifted persons on the scene are normally the prophets and the apostles and the evangelists as well. But here it speaks of the apostles and prophets. 呃、uh, ，我记得我们在呃、uh, 在个别辅导的时候有讲到，呃、uh, ，这个的工作是先是由使呃使先知和使徒上。The apostle gifting being first on the scene, the apostle sees、uh, the structure of the church and what the church should look like and how to build the church and how to lay the foundation. Uh, 先知是先有神给他的意象，使使徒呢是看呃、uh, 如何在什么地方建造神呃、uh, 神的教会。The prophet comes and hears God.、Uh, Uh, about what the apostles are doing, and they test it prophetically to make sure it's the word and it's true and it's exactly what God wants it to be. Uh, 先知呢，他对于神对他启示的话语，呃，然后呃，可以呃，和使徒一样的呃，来共同呃，在看这个教会是不是按照神的心意在怎样的建立。That's one of the reasons why when you see in Scripture. That apostles and prophets very frequently and very often travel together and minister together. So in the Bible, we often see that prophets and apostles travel together. They 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 travel together. 呃、uh, ，当我出去宣教的时候，我呃呃，当神宣呼召我出去，差派我出去做使徒职分的时候，我总是带一个有先知恩赐的弟兄跟我一起去。
Scripture goes on to say that Jesus Christ is the chief corner of this foundation. Uh, so the church of Jesus Christ that he is building is built upon Jesus himself. Then in verse 21 it describes this living organism by saying in whom all the building that is in Christ and the foundation of the apostles and prophets the whole building is fitly framed together and it's growing into the temple of God. Uh, so here again you have the, the illustration not as a body as we talked about in the last session, church is like a body. Now it says church is like uh, here a, a building fitly framed together. Uh, and you must note he's not saying the church is a building, he's saying the church is like a building in the sense a body is like the church, and the church is not really a physical human body uh, any more than a physical church is the body. He's using an illustration here. The key word in verse 21 is uh, growth or growing, being alive. Uh, the church that Jesus is building is alive and growing and it's, it's ever coming more and more Conform to the image of the Lord. Uh, 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 the more the church grows, the closer it becomes to the Lord and to the likeness that God created it to be. Uh, 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 so the church should never become uh, stagnant and, and stop growing. The church should always be in a, in a constant growth. And that growth is balanced with spiritual growth and numerical growth. You have a, a, a good problem in your country in that many people are becoming Christians. And we praise God for the numerical growth of the church of your country. But what we're doing here is to train and equip you to also help the church not only be great in number, but to great, be great spiritually in maturity. Uh, 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 so it's important that you as workers maintain the balance between spiritual growth and numerical growth. So it's important too often, some churches only stress one or the other, but not both. Some churches will emphasize the spiritual growth and help the, the members to mature and to grow, but they never reach out to the lost. They often say, which they do in the Western Church, you come where we are and we'll tell you about Jesus. You come to our building or our place of worship and we'll tell you about the Lord. But 
But Jesus' way of doing it was not to say, come where I am. Jesus went where they were. He went where the needs were and where the people were. 可是我们在圣经上看到耶稣基督，他从来没有说，呃，你们来我这里，他他总是到人的家中，他到需要的人的家中。So the church that Jesus is building should stress spiritual maturity and spiritual growth. 所以在呃神希望的呃教会的模式是希望在也有灵性上的成长。And yet not limit. It just to that, but also simultaneously reach out to the needs uh, of the lost world. So, on the other hand, there are some churches that emphasize only evangelism and outreach, and they never help the, the new converts mature and grow in Christ. 另外一些教会呢，他们他们出去，他们传福音是不错，做的很不错。但是呢，他们呃从来没有，就是没有时间或者没有精力在呃注重教呃信徒灵性上的增长。And if they're not brought to maturity, they tend to to believe every whim of doctrine that comes along, cults and false religions, because they're not grounded in the word. 当他们的灵性上没有 重视在注重在神的话语的时候，他们常常被异教邪风所影响，而接受了许多的呃呃异端。That's the reason we need to minister together as workers and not go out by ourselves. 所以很重要的就是当我们工人出去的时候，不要一个人出去，要要有同伴一起出去。God's best is that we go out at least in pairs. Or take even more workers if if it's possible. That's the reason that uh, uh, prophets and teachers and uh, uh, apostles and evangelists would travel together as teams. Because the evangelist's gift is primarily uh, to witness and, and win people to Jesus and disciple people to the, to the Lord. And it's primarily the work, say for example, of the teacher to instruct them in the truths of the Word. If you only have the evangelist gifting, you're always winning new people to Jesus, but there are no teachers or other workers to instruct them. So there's an imbalance there. So Again, it goes back to what we described the church earlier as a body. We need one another. The evangelist needs the prophet, and the prophet needs the apostle, and the pastor needs the teacher. We all need to work together and function together. So the scripture goes on to say that in this growing uh, church that God is building, this holy church, uh, we are building together for a habitation, that is a dwelling place of God uh, through the Spirit. That's the last verse 22. In so Jesus the builder is building this living organism called the church uh, into a dwelling place of God. And this is done by the power of the Holy Spirit.
and it's not accomplished by organization. 不是用任何的组织呃的形式来来做的。It must be the church must be a living organism. 所以教会一定要是一个活着的有机体。And it must be directed by the Holy Spirit. 一定要顺服圣灵的引导。You remember, and I've used this illustration before, but I want to also use it here. You remember when they were building the temple? Uh, 我要再一次再把这个例子再次举例给你们听。你们记得当犹太人在建造圣殿的时候吗 ？They would find the huge rocks and boulders. Uh, 他们在找那些大的石头、大的石块。And they, the 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 rock quarry workers, would saw and hewn and cut those big rocks down to the exact dimensions of the stones that were needed to build the building. 那建造的工人把那些大石块拿来，把它们呃削平、锯平，呃，把它弄成呃呃那个合适的形呃形状跟大小，才来才能够来建这个圣殿。And then the scripture says that they would bring these huge stones that had been hewn to the temple grounds, and when they got there, they fit right in the proper place where they were designed for. Uh, 你们记得那些工人把那些已经锯好、凿好的石石头来带，把它运到呃要建圣殿的地方。And the scripture says not a sound was heard. In other words, it was a quiet work. It was a work of the Spirit of God. That placed those stones into place. Uh, 圣经上说，当他们把那石块一块块堆上去的时候，没有很大的那呃响声，是非常安静的一块块堆上去，按照神的指示。When the rocks were in the quarry, you could hear the saws and and the cutting and all of the、uh, noise going on. But when it came to the temple ground, it was prepared and ready and just dropped into place. 当那些石块还在山上的时候，还没有呃搬到圣呃要建圣殿地方的时候，他们在那边削呃凿那个石头的时候是很吵的，声音很大的。当那那些石石头搬到呃要建圣地的那块地方的时候，是安安静静的一块一块按照那形式摆下去的。Peter must have had this in mind when he said that we are living epistles. Uh, are living stones, rather living stones,、uh, of the habitation of God. Uh, Peter 说到我们是呃活石。So again, it says they're living stones or living、uh, rocks. They're not dead. They're they're living because he's referring to the church and and to you and me. Uh, Peter 说的那些石头就是活的石头，就是指的你们你跟我。So the Lord is is at work in your life and mine,、uh, hewing and cutting and preparing us to be the living stones to be placed into which we have been placed into His body、uh, for a particular function、uh, to make up this this temple of God, which is not a building, but it's made up of you and me as His as His people. These stones, just like you and me, are the same. 呃，被神要修剪、修剪、修剪成一块块合适的样子以后，然后我们、你们、我们所有基督徒一起来放在神的殿中，建造成为神的灵宫。Now let's look at、uh, a description of this living organism. What does this living organism, the church, how is it described? What does it look like? 呃，我我们来呃来谈一谈这个呃这个。活的有机体到底是应该什么样子的呢 ？Remembering that the word ecclesia means、uh, called out ones。从这段我们呃前几堂课也提到这个字 ，ecclesia。ecclesia 就是被呼召出来的。And Jesus chose this word specifically because it was not a place or a building, but rather a people。呃，耶稣基督一直重申这句话，他说，呃。被呼召出来的 Ecclesia 教会这个字呢，是不是房子？是被呼召出来的人。He took this concept and he began to live it out and and show the disciples what this relationship called the church should be. 他把这个字不断的讲出来，而且他自己活出来，活出来这个呃这个样式，所以把这个 Ecclesia 这个这个字的概念活出来。And so Jesus' best 
was best able to describe the church uh, to his disciples by describing the relationship he had with his heavenly father. And what Jesus began to describe to us, as we'll see in Scripture in a moment, was uh, that the church was a relationship. It was relating like Jesus related to the Father. It was a relationship. You remember Jesus uh, often said that he did not uh, say anything unless he heard the Father say it. Uh, and uh, he did not do anything unless he saw his Father doing it. The only way you can live like this or have this type of relationship is to walk in relationship with someone, have fellowship with them. You have to learn to hear God. You have to learn to see in the spirit realm. You have to learn to walk in the spirit. You have to learn to be led by the spirit. You need to be continually filled with the spirit in order to walk like this. So Jesus basically said, I want to show you what the church is by showing you my relationship that I have with my Father. Of course we know that Jesus is eternal and that in the eternities, uh, He and the Father and the Spirit were one, or are one. Yeah, so in the heavenlies, they had this relationship of unity and oneness and knowing uh, uh, the, the heart and the mind and the purpose uh, that they had for mankind. When Jesus came uh, in the flesh, he continued to have a relationship with the Father. It was different than it was in the eternal when he was with the Father, but he had a relationship continually with the Father. He would spend time uh, in prayer with the Father. He was sensitive to, uh, to hear what the Father was saying as he walked around and as he ministered. He also was able to see in the Spirit to see what the Father was, was doing. There are many times that Jesus uh, performed miracles because he saw in the spirit that the Father was at work in this particular person's life and therefore Jesus got in on what the Father was saying and doing. And this relationship with the Father uh, was not dictated by a a place or a time or an event. It was any time he was able to have this relationship with the Father.
he was able to uh, have this relationship because it, a relationship is not restricted to a place, to a time, or to an event. When Jesus is, was and is building his church, uh, Jesus, you remember, said that worshiping the Father is not on this mountain or this mountain. It's in spirit and in truth. Uh, so the, the church is not a place, the church is a relationship. And so Jesus began to express the life of the, that he had with the Father, which is the life of, of the church, by teaching and ministering with his disciples as he walked. Everywhere Jesus went with his disciples, he was expressing and experiencing what we would call the ecclesia or the church, the shared life together. You remember the Jews uh, felt because of the law that they the only day to worship was the seventh day or the Sabbath day. And uh, the early Christians we know in scripture by example they met on the first day of the week which is what we call our Sunday. But you remember what Paul said about this concerning holy days. Paul said every day is holy unto the Lord. In other words, Monday should be just as holy as Sunday. Too often, uh, as Christians, especially in the West, we will divide our life into what is we call secular and what we call spiritual. In the Western Spiritual would include uh, attending the assembly of believers. Secular would be farming the field in the, in the eyes of, of this kind of concept. But the Bible doesn't teach that some things are spiritual and some are secular. The Bible says everything is spiritual. Everything should be holy unto the Lord. Every day should be a holy day unto the Lord. And that the temple that is holy is the temple of the body of the each individual believer in whom Christ dwells, not a building type temple. If we're not careful when we make uh, the church a place in which we worship, and that's what we think of the church being, we will go and just do our church thing and then we will go out of the building and do whatever we normally do. We, be, we, we become real who we really are rather than be this church person going uh, into this building. If we're not careful, we'll make the place where we meet uh, to be holy rather than recognizing that's just a brick and mortar or wood or whatever it's made out of. What's holy is our body tabernacles in which Christ lives. 
当我们不小心的时候，我们常常会说：“哦，我们走到那个呃石头砖建的那个房子，说那个房子是圣洁的。我们进去那个地方的时候，我们圣洁就好了。” Too many people will attend an assembly wherever they meet, and they will be very reverent, very holy, and so forth in that assembly. But then when they leave, they feel like their obligation is over, and they can just do what they want to do. Uh-huh. 他就说到说，许多时候我们就是光进去的时候，去教教堂那个房子里面，呃，叫做称作教会的那个房子里面进去以，呃，圣洁以后，哦、呃，他觉得出来以后，我的工作已经做完了，我在里面已经圣洁完了，出来以后，呃，就回到原来本、呃、本原来的本相。But the ecclesia, the church, is not a place. Uh, it is uh, the life of Christ expressed. It's you and me. Uh, ecclesia. 呃、uh, ，我们呃、uh, 不是地方，是你跟我的身体，就是神的殿。We often in the West will say,、uh, "Where do you go to church?" 在西方呃呃、uh, uh, 社会当中，他常常说，你到你到哪个教会去 ？What we really mean and should mean is, "Where do you assemble with other believers?" 我们实在应该是这样子问的。我们应该说，你在哪里聚会呀、啊？ Because the church is is not something you go to. You can't go to church. <laughs> 教会不是说我们去哪个地方，因为教会不是我们能去的。教会是我们的身体。Because we are the church. 因为我们身体，我们这个人就是教会。It's like Dan Bobo saying, "I'm going to go to Dan Bobo. I am Dan Bobo. I can't go to Dan Bobo. I am Dan Bobo." 就好像你们说，我我要去蛋伯伯，他说。我不，我我就是蛋伯伯，我自己说，我就是蛋伯伯，我不能说我到蛋伯伯那，我我到蛋伯伯。So we are the church. 所以，总而言之，我们就是教会，神的教会。And again, I keep stressing that's why Jesus didn't call the church a synagogue or a temple. He called it、uh, the called out ones. 所以我一再的重申，一再的重申，说到教会不是圣殿，也不是。呃、uh, ，后来在犹太人建的那个会堂，那个那个会堂那个建筑物，而是这一群呼召被神呼召出来的人。He said, "You, as my disciples, are the living stones that make up the church. You're alive. You're an organism." 他说：“你们这些被呼召出来的这呃活石，就是教会。” When you make church a place or a location, you begin to structure it and organize it. And it loses its life. He said, "We are just like building a building. If we lose our life, we lose its life." The life of the church can be expressed anywhere. This life, life, this word can be expressed anywhere. I want us to look at scripture and see where all the different kinds of places that Jesus expressed the ecclesia are. The shared life in relationship with his disciples. I want to give you some examples. Look, Jesus Christ was in where? He called out these people to build the church. You remember Jesus said that、uh, the gathering of believers can be as few as two or three. You remember Jesus said that the gathering of believers can be as few as two or three. You remember Jesus said that the gathering of believers can be as few as two or three. In other words, you don't have to have. Two or three or four hundred or however many in order to have an assembly of believers. 呃，换句话说，就是说你们不一定要有呃两三百、三四百个人在一起聚会才能够称为是呃神的聚会。Jesus said, "When you're together with one or two believers and you're gathered in my name, I'm in the midst of you. That's church." 主耶稣说，两三个人奉我的名聚会，我就在你们当中。And so it's important to recognize that church can be、uh, expressed and have a relationship in places that we normally don't think of as being church. So, the church can be, uh, just few people gathered together, communicating, uh, in any place, uh, in what we sometimes think of as a church gathering, we can be in any place. Because we have too often equated church as a place or a time or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event. We often equate church as a place, a time, or an event.
可是耶稣说，教会是一个关系。It's a relationship with the Father. 是一个与天父之间的关系。Having intimacy and and worshiping Him. 是那么样亲密的关系，来敬拜他。It's a relationship with fellow believers by edifying and encouraging one another. 是一种呃弟兄姊妹彼此鼓鼓励、彼此安慰、彼此扶持的啊、呃、一个关系。It's a relationship to the lost world by going out as a body to evangelize those that have never heard the gospel. 是一种关系，就是我们出去到那些失丧的人的灵魂的那里去传扬神福音的一种关系。So wherever two or three believers are gathered together, that's considered by Jesus as He is in the midst of that group to be the church. 所以两三个人奉神的名在一起聚集，在神的眼中就是教会。You can have church standing out here、uh, talking with two or three with Jesus being in the midst of you. 你们可以两三个人在这个广这这广场当中谈论神的话，你们的你们在一起就是教会。You can experience the the life of the church by walking with two or three as you're walking down the road or riding the bicycle down the road. 两个人一起，两三个人一起走路，两三个人一起骑脚踏车。你们在在你们的当中，那个就是教会。We often have gatherings、uh, of the ecclesia. We'll just get a few believers together and we'll go someplace to a restaurant and sit at the table and talk about the Lord and. And just worship the Lord together and, and、uh, fellowship together. Uh, we two, three, can two, three people or few people, uh, go to a restaurant, sit down, and talk about the Lord. We are also a church. Jesus said, "That's the kind of church I'm building." Jesus said, "That's the kind of church I'm building." That's the kind of church I'm building. Jesus said, "That's the kind of church I'm building." Jesus said, "That's the kind of church I'm building." So church is not limited to a structure or building where a lot of people necessarily come together. You can come together, but that's not the limitation of what the church is. The church can be as small as two or three. So, the church is not limited to a building or a building. It can be as small as two or three. So, the church is not limited to a building or a building. It can be as small as two or three. So, the church is not limited to a building or a building. Often the Lord、uh, in the town where we live will just impress us and by His Spirit. Uh, to gather several families together and meet at someone's home, and we all bring food and break bread together, and we spend two or three hours of just fellowshipping and encouraging one another, and worshiping the Lord. That's that's church. In our uh uh the family, we often have we we have a family gathering. We go to someone's house. We bring food. We bring bread. We bring food. We bring bread. 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 My wife and I have been、uh, shopping at、uh, a grocery store and pushing our cart around, getting our.